Okay, so this is the first game that uh, this company called Cool Guru LLP has designed. It's called Financial Guru. It's predominantly to learn costing. Uh, in fact, this game has got a lot of variations. Uh, there is a variation on fixed cost. There is a variation to play this game with semi-variable cost. Even capital budgeting to a large extent can be understood from this game. Demand supply can be part of it. How demand supply affects production, pricing strategies. All this thing can be understood from this simple game. To understand this game, first let us understand what all comes in this with this game, with this box of this game. You get a board. You get dummy currencies uh, to play the game. You get what we call as... Uh, market information cards, you get uh, papers like this to bid your secret auction and you get the worksheet, uh, basically the worksheet that is required to play this game which can also uh, work as, or suffice as a lab report. So I'll just give you a very small brief about how this game is played. The first thing is every company starts with an equity capital of 14 lakhs that is raised by selling 1400 shares of 1000 rupees each. In fact all this detail is given in the worksheet here. So Ironically, this is the 14 lakhs that has been given to all the four teams. So you are yellow team, red team, blue team and green team. The coins we will use that of the opposite color so it's visible. So this is yellow colors will use the blue color coins and so on and so forth. So from this 14 lakhs, the starting point of this game is every company will take over a company or a factory which has got one factory, two raw materials and two finished goods. So symbolically the cost of the factory is 2 lakh rupees. So first let me take 2 lakh rupees and for this 2 lakhs the moderator, one of the players can act as a moderator and the player also, the moderator will give one factory. Basically on standard factory we will keep one coin indicating that this team has got one factory. Then what we do, we also said that the all teams start with 2 raw materials and 2 finished goods. Cost of 1 raw material is 25,000 rupees. So for 2 raw materials it is 50,000 rupees. So we take 50,000 from this person and we give him two raw materials. So this side indicates raw materials, so we give two raw materials. Then the cost of one finished good is 1,75,000. So basically two finished goods would cost you 3.5 lakhs. So if I take, you know, 5 lakhs, I have to give back 1,50,000. Here is a 50 and here is 1 lakh. So I am giving them two finished goods. So this is the initial setup which is required by all the teams. So every team has paid me 6 lakh rupees and for this 6 lakhs they have got one factory, two raw materials and two finished goods. That's the same scenario with all the four teams. This is the starting point. Then the game goes like this. They have to, each team member should decide for the month of January how many employees they want to keep. So depending upon the number of employees, the fixed cost component of the company will vary. The salary per employee is 15,000 and the basic fixed cost is 50,000. So suppose if a company says 4 employees, they will pay 60,000 as salary and 50,000 rupees for the fixed cost, 1,10,000 and they get 4 lakhs. Then the next step of this game is, they buy raw materials and they sell finished goods. So how they buy raw materials depends upon these event cards. So in this event card, the market scenario is given. Like for example, if only 2 people are playing this game, we will see this table. If 3 are playing, we will see this table and if 4 are playing, we will see this table. So after they have decided the fixed cost, what we do? We tell them the number of raw materials available in the market. So in this case, there are 12 units of raw materials available for all the 4 to be purchased and then the minimum price expected by the vendor is 15,000 rupees. There are 4 finished goods available in the market, 4 customers available for the finished goods in markets and the maximum price that the customer is willing to pay is 2,25,000 rupees per finished good. So what these people players will do is, in this chit, they will bid for how much raw materials they want to buy and at what price. Raw materials are always given, the preference is given to the team that is willing to buy raw materials at a higher price. That's the normal scenario. And while selling the finished goods, this team will, uh, will buy, the moderator will buy it from the person who is selling it at the lowest rate. That's how the demand supply works. So each team will buy raw materials. Suppose this team buys 4 raw materials. They will go to 6, 2 plus 4, 6. And suppose they sell, they manage to sell 1. They will sell 1. When you are selling finished goods, you will get cash in the system. When you are buying raw materials, we will take cash from, the, from, your, from, your, play, from, your, from your team. And then what happens? Then they convert. The conversion cost in this company is 1 lakh rupees per finished raw material to be converted. So suppose this team converts 3, 
they will pay 3 lakh rupees and 6 minus 3 this will become 3 and this will become 4 and this then they calculate the closing balance once they calculate the closing balance they will play this for the second month third month and fourth month so in four months time then we check out the net worth of every company the team with the highest net worth is the winner they all started business with 14 lakhs so anybody making more than 14 lakhs is a winner so this is predominantly uh, this game all about the fixed cost variation and on the back side it automatically gets converted to a balance sheet and profit and loss account there is another variation in this company which is where you play with a fixed semi variable cost there instead of salary component we have a semi variable cost which is a storage component for the raw materials and the finished goods this is played for 12 months there you also have something like you can convert a standard factory to an automatic factory and or you can make one more factory or you can make one more automatic factory the variable cost in an automatic factory is less so when they play this for the second time uh, they get to understand a lot about costing capital budgeting and the likes of it one of the very addictive games from a you know costing perspective students love this and they sense losses before they understand how to uh, forecast they understand how to uh, uh, give up pricing based on competition, seeing the market realities, are we in a buyer's market, are we in a seller's market before they actually evaluate the pricing. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed by students and uh, a definite buy for any business lab in any college. Thank you so much.